In this video today, we're going to be talking about enchanted jewelry, and specifically, we're going to be talking about the teleports that jewelry can have. All right, let's get started. What is up, guys? We are going to be talking about jewelry. So starting off, we have the Games Necklace. The Games Necklace can teleport you to Barbarian Assault, Birthorp Games Room, Tears of Guthics, Corporal Beast, or the Winter Todd Camp, and it has eight charges. The Skills Necklace can teleport you to the Fishing Guild, Mining Guild, Crafting Guild, Cooking Guild, or the Woodcutting Guild, and it has four or six charges. The Amulet of Glory can teleport you to Edgeville, Karamja, Drainer Village, or Al Karid, and it has four or six charges. And if you somehow get lucky and turn it into an Amulet of Internal Glory, it has the same teleports as a regular glory, but it has unlimited charges. The Necklace of Passage can teleport you to the Wizard's Tower, Joro's Outpost, or the Desert Eagle Station of the Eagle Transit Transport System, and it has five charges. The Burning Amulet can teleport you to Chaos Temple, which is level 15 Wilderness, Bandit Camp, which is level 17 Wilderness, or the Lava Maze, which is level 41 Wilderness and it has five charges. Now onto the rings. The Ring of Dueling can teleport you to the Duel Arena, Clan Wars, or Castle Wars, and it has eight charges. The Ring of Life teleports you to whatever your respawn point is if your hit points is less than 10% except for zero. So if you're about to die, your Ring of Life will teleport you to wherever your respawn point is set, and it has one charge. The Ring of Wealth can teleport you to Miscellanea, Grand Exchange, Barack Square, Falador Park, or Dodonkin, and it has five charges. The Slayer Ring can teleport you to Slayer Tower, Fremnick Slayer Dungeon, Tarn's Lair, Stronghold Slayer Cave, or Dark Beasts, and it has eight charges. The Ring of Returning teleports you to Respawn Point, so Edgeville, Camelot, Lumbridge, or Falador, and it has five charges. Surprisingly, I never hear of anyone using this ring, and I never use it either, but if you set your respawn point to Edgeville, then it is much better than a glory to get to Edgeville, because it is much cheaper. Now onto a bracelet. The combat bracelet can teleport you to the Warriors Guild, Champions Guild, Monastery, or the Ranging Guild, and it is four or six charges. And an extra enchanted amulet is the Dig Site Pendant. And if you complete the dig site quest, it can teleport you to the dig site, and it has five charges. Alright guys, I hope you liked that video. It's the first time I've done a video like that, but I always want to do videos similar to this kind of video. So if you have any ideas or any suggestions, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And if you did not like this video, go ahead and give me some feedback in the comment section. I'll make sure to reply. And as always guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for our next video.